Um, at this time, if we could have the uh, children come up uh, for our children's message. Well, welcome, everyone. Good morning. How are we doing? Good? Um, well, okay, I know today our um, children's message is titled, kind of like our sermon title of today, it's called The Catch. Now, who likes, raise your hand if you like fishing. Who likes fishing? Max, you like fish? Yeah, I could see you with that, that pole on the pier. And Who likes, who likes fishing? Oh, oh, Jasper does too. He's coming. He's like, I want to be there too. All right. That's all good. You're always welcome. I like your entryway too. That's um, always nice. But other than other than Max and Jasper, who likes who likes fishing? Anyone? Well, I guess whether you like fishing or not, I guess the question is, what do you need when you fish? A fishing pole. Good. So I brought a fishing pole for you. Have you ever seen one of these before? Yeah. A fishing pole? Yeah. Have you seen a fishing pole? No. No? Well, one day you will. I mean, we live by the beach, so one day. Maybe one day you will. But the, the fishing pole is very important in catching fish. Now, not only a fishing pole, a but, boat. oh, you need a boat, that's for sure. Sometimes you can go off a dock or something, but on the end of the fishing pole, of the fishing line, we need, what is that right there? Fish. That's fish. They look like fish. They're, it's called, it starts with a B. Bait. Bait. Sometimes we have like these, uh, you know, these lures, we call them, like these fake-looking fish. But then sometimes they use live worms. worms. Who likes worms? Raise your hand. Yeah, I know, Ramona, right? That's right. So we need bait. We need fishing poles to catch all these things. To catch what? What do we want to catch? Fish, fish right? And I guess today, as we look at our gospel reading, what is Jesus doing? Fishing. He's catching fish. fish. How many fish? A lot of fish? A little fish? A lot of fish. Look how many fish are here. Are there a lot of fish or a little fish? A lot or a little? A lot. A lot. A lot. To the point of what? What's happening to the boat? It's sinking. It's sinking. That's how many fish Jesus caught. You know, he's showing them that by his word, his word, Jesus, this all happens all by his a power of his word, the greatness of God. And there we see the catch of all catches that by his very word, he let down the nets and all these fish came. It shows that Jesus is our almighty God. But the question today is, how has the Lord caught you? How has the Lord caught you? How has he catched or caught you? He died on the cross, right? And we see right here. What is that right there? The Bible, right? He caught you by the word of God. When you heard that word, there he caught you. He, give you, he gives you faith in what He has done, and that is, die on the cross for our sins, rise on the third day, so all of your sins are forgiven, right? But also, lastly, how has He also caught you? By your baptism, baptism right? He caught you by your baptism. And there, by the power of His Word, He brings you into His family as one of His own. That's how much Jesus loves you. Not only does he die and he rise, on the, rise from the grave three days later, but also he gives you the gift of baptism. And this is how Jesus has brought all of you in, that he has brought you in as children of God. So remember that this day, right? The catch, all by God's love for you, he has caught you all by his promise, his word, and that is the good news that Jesus died for our sins and that he rose on the third day, all for your forgiveness. Remember that this day. Let us pray. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we, uh, we thank you for this day, O oh Lord, uh, for your grace that you have come to this world to catch us, to die for our sins, to bring us as your own. Bless these children in the life of faith by your spirit, to guide them by your truth and lead them by your light. Lord, we're just so thankful for the power of your word and your mercy. For all these things, we are thankful. Pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.